Hi everyone, so today I want to show you this little bag and it's a really cute little bag and it's actually no glue. So there's no glue, no tape, nothing like that. It's just all held together with that little ribbon on the top. And it's really, really cute. And this was, um, I got this idea from Pootle's Paper Craft. I think she actually probably designed it, knowing her because she's very creative. But yeah, it's really, really sweet, really nice. If you wanted to, you could put some um, glue on it and just hold it together. Um, but yeah, you don't need to. It just basically secures with the ribbon. So the papers I've used on here are from my Berry Christmas digital pack, which is available over in my Etsy shop. And I've just used some random ribbon that I had in my stash and just some red card. So yeah, so let's get into it. Right, for this bag, you're going to need a piece of card that is 8 by 6 And you're going to score along the long edge at 2 inches, 3 inches, and then at 5 inches, and at 6 inches. And then we're going to turn it round, and along the short edge, you're going to score at 2 inches, and at 4. And you just want to make a little mark at 3 and you want to do it at top and bottom. So if you flip your card round, make a little mark at two and at three, like that. And then we're going to need to do some diagonal folds. So I'm going to get a cork board in to do that. So where you did your little notchy marks, you want to score from there down to this corner here, and also from there down to this corner here. And you want to do the same on the other side. So we're going to go ahead and get our scoring tool I'm going to do because my rule is angled this way I'm going to do either side first and then come back and do the other side you'll end up with a card that looks like that so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to um, make a little mark with a pencil and a ruler and we want to do it on here so I'm going to just come in a little bit and it's eight inches so it's halfway at four inches it's going to be about there and we're going to do the same on this one and you want to do it roughly about the same kind of distance from the top so it's going to be about there and then what we're going to do is that bit is going to get cut out with you're going to make a little hole using any kind of little hole punch i'm going to use this one and so we're just going to make a hole where we've made that mark on both ends so one there and one there this hole might be a little bit too big i'm not sure if i'm using this a bit too big but it's just because of the ribbon that i've chosen i feel like that's the one i'm going to need and then we also need to make a little hole just at the top of that pointy bit that you did okay so just up here and don't go too close to the score line you want to go kind of you know not too far in either <laughs> it's kind of the right distance is where you want to go with that next we're going to go and we're going to cut up here and i'm just going to ever so slightly kind of notch them out i'm just basically going to cut that score line out i'm going to do that like that and then i'm just going to come on the other side here so you're just literally cutting like a slither out I need to make sure i cut all the way up like that and we're going to do that on all of our tabs so we're going to do that top and bottom so one there and then one on this side so i'm going to go ahead and finish these off Next, we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to fold all of these score lines. Now, the card I've chosen is quite thick, so I'm not sure if I'm going to end up regretting that later. Hopefully I won't, <laughs> but we'll soon find out. I wanted it to be relatively solid and I also wanted this colour, so that's why I went for this card. So we're just going to go ahead and just fold and burnish all of our score lines. You also want to make sure you have a card that isn't going to crack when you fold it. So obviously you're doing quite a lot of scoring, quite a lot of folding. So that's all of those done. And then these diagonal ones just need to go the opposite direction. So they're going to go the other way. So where you've got mountains, the, these are going to be valleys. So go ahead and do that bit there. 
and again this piece here like that then next you need two pieces of pattern paper and i probably should have stuck these on first i'm realizing that now so these are going to go on here like that so i think what i'll do is i'll just go over my hole where my hole was before um but that's fine so i'm going to go ahead now and just stick these down and then just re-punch those holes so that i'm actually punching through the pattern paper so yeah as i said these are one and three quarter by one and three quarter i'm using my berry christmas um papers and i'm hoping that using yoohoo glue isn't going to be a problem it has been a problem in the past so probably not that wise using it but anyway <laughs> we're doing what we're doing Okay, so now I've chosen um, some of this, this ribbon. Now, I'm not sure this is going to be a good idea. When I saw Poodles make it, she actually used um, quite a thin, like a thinner ribbon, and it wasn't obviously single-sided, whereas this is like a single-sided one. So I'm not sure how we're going to get on. So I'm just going to measure myself about, yeah, just over 12 inches, I would say. I don't think I'm going to need much more than that. And then what we're going to do, if I turn this over, so we've got it this way round, we're going to take our ribbon and make a little point, and we're going to come in from the outside to the inside on this bit here. Then we are going to come through from the inside, so this is the inside, through this hole here to the outside, like this. like that and then we're going to come over here and we need to come let me just bring this in a little bit more we need to come over and this is going to go from the outside to the inside so you can do reverse of what you've just done and then we also then need to i'm just making this a little bit longer so it's a bit not quite so you know together and then we need to come from the inside to the outside here so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so you like that basically. Now, it wants to come together. So what we're going to do is we are going to come together. And all of these pieces are going to come in. We need to start with these little flat, these little rectangular pieces first. They're going to come in first. This is the fiddly bit. So these bits here are going to come in first. Next up, we are going to bring these big pieces in. So these big pieces need to come in next, making sure that none of it, none of the ribbon pops out of place. So that's that side done. And then this side here, I'm going to do the same. Just bring that one in like that. That's going to come on the other side of that flap there. So I want the, the squares on the inside and the two little rectangles on the outside like that. Okay, and then if you bring it all together you should end up with that like that and obviously you're going to pinch that and then what i would do is kind of pinch and just kind of pull from both sides because if you pinch and pull what will hopefully happen is it will hopefully kind of behave itself we just tip that up a little bit so you fold it along there and then we're just going to keep pulling so we've got kind of equal lengths of ribbon on either side roughly more or less i would say probably about there and then i'm just going to go ahead then so this feels a bit baggy but I'm trying to get that to go anywhere else because i feel like this big flap's in the way but anyway never mind yeah that's fine and then what we'll do is we'll then just tie a little knot on the top oh we've got one <laughs> one decided to come out i appreciate it if you didn't do that let's just fix this up a little bit more there we go we just need to bring those up a tiny bit more so this is the fiddly bit and then just pull that in a bit more like this i'm holding it one hand and pulling with the other because i feel like that's the way forward and then i need to go ahead on top tie a little bow and then i just want to trim my edges And there you have your little gift bag. 
So it's quite cute. I quite like the way the sides come up. Um, yeah, it's just really sweet. So there you go. That's your little project for today. So obviously you can, if you wanted to stick it, you could. And obviously when they open it, the whole lot's going to open up. I think, yeah, one way you could make it a little bit neater is if you actually, obviously the whole purpose of this is that you don't have any glue on it. But I feel like if you actually glued, um, you know, these tabs into position, these side pieces, then that would be quite good. You'd know exactly where they were going to go and then you still can get into it. So that's another option. But yeah, it's a sweet little box, a little gift bag. So I hope you like it. So please like and subscribe. Hit the notifi notification bell so you never miss a video. Please leave a comment down below and I'll see you again next time. Bye.